What's up everybody and welcome back to some more Madden 20 Madden Ultimate Team and today we got a good one. Well, we opened up some packs in the last episode so today we're going to make one big crucial update on the defense and it is time it is time I kind of alluded to it before guys is in the secondary um, we're going to actually be able to finally finally complete a theme diamond set i'm here to tell you guys i spent a lot of coins on this and it is insane but you know what we get to the cowboys and look at this we are one card away from unlocking oh my gosh look at look at this 89 overall ready let's it's just all we have to do is throw in vanderesh in here and we should be good to go court elite at the set and then bam let's, let's open this bad boy up Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, you get his power up? I didn't know that. That's good to know. And then you get him? And what's this, some quick sell? Oh my, what's this Cowboys token themed diamond token? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Add, oh, add to the master diamond set. That's what it is. Okay, so I can actually sell his power up or um uh go ahead and use it but i don't have enough training to do it anyway so i'll probably end up selling this power up so let me go ahead and uh what is it promote to starter oh yeah you're definitely gonna be a starter I'll, first put it first of all let's oh it says already included let's look at let's compare the stats let's look at the back of this card real quick you ready look at that speed that speed is already 86 and he's not even powered up so he's he's, he's already tied for our fastest corner and darius slay is our best corner right now he has better agility better acceleration way better jump same play recognition better man coverage um zone coverage is a little bit less impressed a little bit less and he's not even powered up like it, it's going to be insane so i'm about to pop him out and then put him back in oh i could sell him for three thousand training yeah we're not gonna do that how much um training do i get i get training i get quick sell of 45 for that i'll I don't think that's worth um and then also we have one more upgrade to do that is nice that we're able to do that maybe my team will actually not be trash now i've won five games so far um in the house rules and it is now what 12 30 a.m eastern standard time I, I it's the time i get to do it. it's when everybody in the house is asleep it's when i get to record so anyway here we are um i wanted to go to i think tori holt had an upgrade i could be making it up i could absolutely be making it up uh, I'm not sure, but that's my mail. Uh, I know Pat Tillman had an upgrade for sure. So hopefully he can finally get to an 80 overall. Add item. Let's see. Here we go. What is he doing? My dog is like sleeping. No, he's still not an 80 overall. And he's still slow as molasses. Um, wait, did he have another upgrade? I don't think so. Maybe? Maybe I got lucky? No, I didn't get lucky. All right, what about Tory Holt? I did upgrade my level, my Mutt Master level. Let's see if Tory Holt, he's like an 85, 87 overall. That man is like ridiculously good right now. Um, I probably should start using him more. Let's see if we can have an item for him. No, we don't have an item. Oh, anyway, that's all the upgrades we have. Now we're gonna have, go hop into some gameplay. I'm gonna show you guys me probably getting demolished. I'll probably show you my last game. So let me win a couple more games. So this is the part of the video that I actually get around to showing you guys some actual gameplay. So I'm gonna take you right into the house rules. I decided that I was gonna play these videos and then come back and record some commentary commentary after the fact because i'll tell you what i had to concentrate as you can see our offense is an 85 overall our defense is an 84 overall and our overall is an 84 overall i wish there was a way it was to be 84.5 and round us up to 85 the reason is because the significance of the 85 is i can start to get those 50 wins that i've been looking for but anyway let's hop up into our first game oh look at our opponent he has philip Lindsay, anthony barr and eddie goldman I mean, okay, overall, but we looks like we have higher overall teams for a bit. And look at that stadium. Ooh, used to be Cowboys Stadium, now it's AT&T Stadium. I still call it Cowboys Stadium. But yeah, so it looks like we're gonna be receiving first the opponent has either elected to kick or they were automatically selected to kick, not sure. But anyway, I got Cohen back deep to return. He is fully powered up in 87 overall, so he should be okay in terms of returning. So, all right, here we go. But he decided to squib kick and kicked it to my fullback, and I basically got maybe, what, 12 yards. 
All right, so here we're out for our first play offense. I like to always start off with a running play. It's first and 20 for these house rules, and no one expects you to run. So I come out, catch the component completely off guard, and we get, what is that, uh, 15, 16 yards, and I come out again, and I throw a pick. <laughs> Oh man, that's just my luck. Come out the gate, stroll, and I throw a pick and turn the ball over. So our opponent gets the ball and it's first in 10. I bring everybody in and I'm trying to play man defense because Madden 20 to man defense is pretty stellar. They can keep up pretty good. And I'm just manning the safety right here. Uh, I got everything pretty much locked down, but then he sees the guy streaking out to the out and he gets it. So just like us, our opponent picks up, what, 12? on the first drive and then he goes out he drops back again he takes too much time and i get in there for the sack yeah that's what i'm talking about so it's third down you only get three downs to get the first down so our opponent will be punting uh nope he is being courageous so he's going to actually take the ball and try to get this first down let's see if he gets the first down on us um i actually don't remember because i recorded this so long ago he throws it deep and oh i user swat that away nice nice i was ready for that i don't know why i ex expect him to come down there. so now we're back on offense because our opponent turned it over on down so you know like i said before i normally start with the run no one else was expecting the run for whatever reason and just to keep the opponents honest and look at this we break it i i if i didn't get that shoestring tackle animation i was gone so i had success on the run i wanted to get in field goal range and you know, pick maybe even pick up this first down. So, but I run and nope. we get stuffed. So this will bring up a third down. So I either punt it or I kick an extra long field goal. I decided to come out with a 53 yard field goal. I am terrible at kicking, but I decided, you know what? You only live once. Let's try to get this points on the board. So it has to be perfect. I hit it right down the money from 53 yards and we're on the board first. The one thing I learned about this game mode too is that if you get up early in the game, your opponents will normally quit. Now, three points isn't enough to make them quit, but if you go up by two scores, whether it be uh, field goal and a touchdown, being 10 or two touchdowns, 14 points, they will normally quit the game because it's kind of hard to come back, uh, especially with only having three downs. So he takes it out of the end zone and he runs it back and only gets, you know, just shy of the 25, so call it the 24 yard line. Running man again, and this time I wanna try the linebacker and uh, we stuffed that run. He, he, I guess he tried to do the same thing I was doing and see if the run would work for him, but for whatever reason, the run did not work for him. And then we come off screaming from the defensive end position. That is Khalil Mack, he's a beast. And he's going for it again on third and 25. What is my opponent thinking? You know what I mean? Like, why would he try to go for this on third and 25? And he throws it and he stopped once again. Good job, buddy. Cornerbacks are stepping up. So I decide to run the ball again. I mean, we're right here. All I got to do is even if I don't get the touchdown, I'm playing really conservative. You guys learned it about me. And look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. If he freaking if I don't know if that was Kittle. I don't think that's Kittle. I think that was Zach Ertz. If he picks up the block, we score a touchdown. You know what I mean? So we got one more down, second and goal to get into the end zone. Because as I told you guys before, you only have three downs. And we run up and we get we get hammered. We don't get it in. So that's not going to happen. So I kick another field goal. And once you know, once again, right down the middle. So now it's 6-0. If we stop the opponent on this one and we kick another field goal and go up 9-0, he will probably quit. So he takes it out again and he doesn't even get to the 20-yard line. So, you know, he's pretty demoralized at this point. You need to have like a big spark to stay in this game. So drop back. Uh, no pressure whatsoever. We get through there. My guy decides not to tackle him and he gets that spark that he needs. No one is going to catch him. And they finally tackle him and he gets that animation that he desperately needed and he falls right into the end zone. Oh, that was heartbreaking. I was so mad. I was furious at that point. And now look, after all that, start off to a good game. I was I had my fourth win. This was gonna be my was it my fifth win? Yeah, it was my fifth win. This is gonna be my sixth win. And that happens. And I, at that point, I was about to rage quit. And I was like, I cannot believe this. This guy is going. So we take it out of the end zone. He finally kicks it deep to Cohen. Cohen gets gets up. He gets a you know a decent return. Doesn't quite make it to the uh, 30, but you know it made sense to run it back. So I come out with this play. This play normally works. With, I got three good tight ends, and there he is, Zach Ertz. I'm, his user went for L1, so I went up with Zach Ertz. Get a big hit. And I'm surprised he didn't fumble there. And then it is first and 20. So 
throw it again and oh right at his user testing his user we get the first down once again and we are driving i don't know why i was like you know what i'm gonna come out and i'm just gonna come out you know dotting him up dotting him just throwing dots all the way down the field if it works it works if it doesn't you know i will quit the game the games were pretty quick except for one that went to double overtime for me look at his user i get sacked of course when i have a good drive of course something bad will happen to me and i get sacked and i get taken down so I have a decision to make. I got to bring up the best play for a second and 31. Normally in this situation, I normally just run it again, catch the opponents off guard because a lot of these guys are just backing up and just playing at the sticks. So do I end up running? Yep, I know me. I end up running it again, it looks like. Um, I don't remember if I get stuffed here. No, no, I don't get stuffed. I, I watch this dip in. Whoop! That, that's the one thing about the computers. If you dip in, you could go. That's why you run the ball, ladies and gentlemen, because they're not expecting to run. And that, right there was a single game changing play of the game a running play with cohen took that thing what 40 yards and then we were up we're up 13 to 7. all right and that is crazy and remarkable i cannot believe that we actually did that that well so far so so far so good we're off to a, a really good start all right my opponent it, Kicks the ball out of the end zone and he makes it out, but he doesn't make it to the 25. So he probably should have just stayed in the end zone. And I'm pretty sure if we get a stop here, he will probably rage quit. But he dots me right here. And look at that. Look at that. He's almost gone. He almost did to me what he did earlier with that sideline. I don't know what that is. So he calls a hurry up and he rushes back out there. And I'm playing man and I'm just trying to see what I can do. Oh, actually, that looks like a zone. I played zone. He had a guy wide open down the middle, but he didn't get it. He didn't get it off. And uh, he got takes the sack. So here we go again. It is second and 30. And look at this. Like my rush is finally decided to show up and we sack him. He is, what is this? Third and 43 and he's going for it. If he doesn't get this, he's quitting the game. So I back all the way up, even though I'm guarding the running back, I back all the way up just to give myself some room i basically just have to guard the sticks here and the ball is mine and oh, check this out Whoop, swatted he's away stealing. and we intercept the ball we intercept the ball is that enough for my opponent is that is that gonna make him quit is it gonna make him rage quit he doesn't quit yet he doesn't quit yet so we got to do something to make him finally quit but what because i don't want to keep him in the game so i call another running play catch him off guard look at this guys oh we got one man to beat dipped on him and that's game and that surely will be enough to make him rage. Yeah, and that's what it is we finally made him rage quit and that was ended up being a really really good match and that ended up being my sixth win so we head up into the last game i just wanted to show you guys this is the last game for my 12th win so i can get my player came out we were already up three nothing my opponent throws it deep and i user lurk him intercept the ball start to run it back and guess what guys this was a pretty boring game. I just kicked the field goal, so that's why I didn't show you. That's why I showed you the early gameplay, and that was it. That was enough to make my opponent rage quit, and that gave me my 12th victory, which gave me my free 87 player. And um, I didn't know who to pick, so I'm gonna just end the video here, and you guys gotta come back for the next video to see who I actually picked. But we did it. That's another house rules done in the bag. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Who do you think I should have got if you're playing this game? Who did you pick up? And also, who do you want me to have on my team next? I've been really enjoying this year's Madden. It's really fun. It's been frustrating at times, but that's the game. Abilities is everything, and I'm looking forward to making some more changes on the team. But this was very fun. I'm glad I got to show you some guys some gameplay. I will catch you. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I'm ready to make some more No Money Spent episodes for you guys. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah.